Hey there YouTubers, um, this is the next segment on my installment of this Predator 420cc engine onto a Hammerhead GT150 go-kart. Um, today I'm talking about um, how you're getting your power from your engine to your wheels. The way I'm going to be doing this is through a torque converter. Um, what a torque converter is, is it's basically the fancier so-called way of getting your power to your wheels. There's also another way which is a centrifugal clutch which is cheaper um, but this is going to give you more power and these aren't that much more expensive um, so I highly recommend this they tend to give you more torque um, less top speed though um, but if you have an off-road go-kart like I do um, torque is more important to me than speed so I'm going to go over the installment of this now this here is a kit that I got off of eBay and it's actually a um, 30 series 1 inch torque converter so what that means is that if I take out the driver pulley right here this is going to mount on the crankshaft of the engine and this hole right there is 1 inch and this crankshaft is 1 inch if you have a smaller engine, smaller predator engine like the 212's and such they have a 3 quarter inch shaft and you want to make sure you get a 3 quarter inch they make a larger one which is called a 40 series but it's about four hundred dollars and so this one was about sixty so this is an off brand of it this will um, work with one small modification that you have to do and that is with the oil plug right here um, and it's a bit of a big commitment um, what you have to do is in order for this this torque converter it goes on the shaft right there and in order for that to line up, you have to take about an eighth of an inch off of this oil plug right here. To do that, I permanently sealed it off. I took the dipstick out, and I bought this, which is a 18 millimeter coarse thread bolt. And this is one, for example, here. It's kind of a rare size, but you can find it if you look. Um, and um, I took the plug out put the bolt in the hole with a lot of Teflon tape and some thread locking compound so hopefully that bolt won't wiggle loose and I doubt it will and I cranked it down and then I cut um, with the bolt and everything off and you can actually see the center of the bolt right there this gives me the extra room I need to mount this torque converter so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how these work real quick this actually changes your gear ratio as you're driving so you start out with this pulley right here fully spread out like that and this pulley fully compressed and so your belt is actually riding on the outside and this belt is riding right on the center there as you speed up this contracts like that and it squeezes the belt outward and so the belt's in the center and it pushes it outward and so it actually makes this pulley bigger this one expands as you speed up and lets the pulley, the belt slip down in the pulley, essentially making it smaller. What this does is it gives you different gear ratios so you can have more torque and more top speed. So, to install it, what you're first going to do is I'm put this on here. And then you can line your bolt holes up however you'd like. Um, and they've had six holes here. If you're installing this on a 420, you're going to have to buy bolts. The bolts that come with it will not fit. What so kind of bolts are those? Um, if you look in your instruction manual, the size for them um, is there. These are just grade 5 bolts. I got them an Ace. They're like a buck a bolt. Not that expensive. Now you can, depending on whatever configuration you have, you can place it so it's facing like this instead of like this. You can also go backwards, um, just depending on whatever configuration you need for whatever you're doing for this. Alright, 
The next part you're going to put on <coughs> is you're going to put on this inner plate here, with the flat end. There is a key um, that's been put in there. You make sure that lines up with the keyway on the crankshaft, just like that. And then you're going to put your belt on. Now, one thing about these torque converter kits is that this is the 30 series, and so it's not rated for this amount of horsepower. So you may go through belts um, faster, um, but to me it's worth the price. And then you have to work your belt on here. Mm -hmm. Keep spinning it. Keep going. Yep, keep going. Keep going. Good job. Okay. Yeah, you're going to put this part on here. This, I don't even know what to call this. Once again, make sure the key lines up with the keyway on the crank. Then you're going to put this plate on here with the tapered end facing towards the engine. Okay, And then you're going to want to grab your bolt, which goes in the end of the crankshaft. Now, once again, this is another bolt I had to buy myself. The bolt that came with the engine would not fit. The part that actually comes with the engine, I'll show it to you. There it is. Um, is this part right here and so it's supposed to fit inside this plate here but the bolt as you can see won't go through there so I just got a big washer Alright, so then, when you mount your engine, let me turn this a bit, this is the sprocket right here, and so the sprocket that came with it was a 40, um, um, number 41 sprocket, the 41, 42, and the 420 um, size sprockets work, are um, compatible, Just so make sure you get a chain that's suited for that. All right. So that's it for this. Make sure you comment, rate, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment. Um, thanks for watching.